Hey, this is Supreet and today we're gonna talk about web crawling or web scrapping. So we're gonna fetch certain information from a specific uh, website. So for that, you know, uh, we're gonna include uh, certain specific libraries or DLL since we're using .NET as a technology. And uh, this is the URL of a website from which we are trying to, you know, uh, extract uh, certain information. So now this is the website and so this is the link and we are trying to fetch the URL for that link. So let's see how that can be done through uh, .NET technology. So now uh, we are trying to you know, add a specific DLL which is uh, HTML agility pack. Now this will allow you to you know, extract information through .NET technology. So now uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to define an XPath and XPath is one way which defines uh, where the HTML element lies and uh, the path for the specific HTML element. So now uh, there are two methods to do this and uh, we'll try to see them in both the methods. So now we have defined uh, an instance of HTML document class and we have defined a URL and then we have defined an next path to it. So now if you browse through that collection, nodes collection, you can see you know, where the information lies. So now this is where the information lies and that is the URL that uh, we are trying to extract so now once we get this information the HTML node collection uh, we're gonna loop through it and you know uh, we're trying to get this information value of that information now, now this is the information we actually were trying to you know uh, crawl through and extract it so this is the first method uh, you have to define uh, you know, uh, HTML node collection, HTML document collection and then we'll have to define XPath. So now there's one more method where you'll have to you know, uh, drill down to each uh, HTML element. So you have to say enough you know, document node dot descendants and uh, we'll have to drill down to the you know, uh, root of that particular HTML element that is div in this case. Now we will have to define uh, div and uh, the key value pair, the attribute and uh, the value of the attribute. So we have defined an attribute value as class and the value of the attribute is the uh, page so, so now when we get that information, we're going to loop through each of the collection because we have you know, for 10 different links. So we're going to loop through that and fetch that specific link. We're going to fetch the first link. So the first method lies in utilizing XPath and the second uh, way is to drill down to each uh, level of HTML element say div and in this case it is div and you have to define uh, what is the attribute and what is the attribute value and thus you know, uh, fetch the specific information. So this is where, you know, you can define uh, XPath, you can extract XPath2. What I would suggest is use Mozilla Firefox or Chrome where you can, you know, uh, apply your additional plugins to uh, fetch the XPath and the same XPath uh, which you obtain through this uh, plugin. So that can be applied in the first method and directly you can try to fetch the 
information from the website. So this is it guys, uh, I think this is very simplest of the methods which I try to implement. There are a number of ways um, you can use uh, different programming languages, different uh, uh, packages, uh, different DLLs or different you know, third party DLLs. Uh, here I'm using HTML Agility Pack which is pretty popular among you know, for, the .NET NuGet packages when it comes to uh, web crawling or utilization of XPath. In a similar way, you can utilize uh, Beautiful Soup for different other languages. So all you need is knowledge about XPath, basic knowledge about C Sharp or ASP.NET, and you know how to inspect element from the browser end and get the specific element. So I hope uh, this short video would help you, you know, uh, start with the basics of crawling.